Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra and welcome to another FAQ video. Well, while I'm talking, I will uh, be finishing here the unfinished Ultramarine from the tutorial the other day. And, uh, well, it's an FAQ, so uh, I have asked uh, you guys on my Discord uh, to sum up some uh, nice questions for me to answer. And, uh, well, let's uh, dive right in. From uh, Dumb Blonde uh, Dalmatian, what inspired you to start making painting videos? Well, that was uh, actually quite easy. It was in the uh, early days of YouTube when, uh, well, I was a simple YouTube consumer like uh, everybody else and uh, I found some YouTube videos on painting miniatures. It was just a handful, um, maybe two or three YouTubers uh, made those and the bulk of those videos uh, they hid behind a paywall. And I thought to myself, hmm, I can paint better than they. And I can do it for free, and this way I can, uh, well, get more into painting, because I had uh, hit a major break for maybe two or three years at this point. So I thought to myself, well, just give it a try. Buy yourself a camera and start making videos. And It all went down from there. <laughs> the rest is history, as they say. So, uh, next from Pantas. Uh, when did you first uh, start painting miniatures? Well, that was uh, around 1993, I guess, when the uh, board games um, uh, StarQuest, HeroQuest and Claymore Saga uh, emerged on the surface of the planet and uh, well I started painting my first miniatures it was rather horrible uh, we all know the uh, old days with uh, uh, enamel paints and uh, I even uh, started implying an adding for this it was horrible Um, and then uh, from Backyard Dodo, uh, do you plan on playing 9th edition 40k? Oh, well, I'm always planning on playing. The uh, thing is, I so rarely come to it. It's always a hassle for me. I don't have a car to uh, transport my army to my uh, local games workshop. And... Uh, if I have carried my army there, then nobody's there to play right now in the uh, Corona times. It is even harder. So the plans for playing are there. Hopefully I can get one or two games in, in 2021. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's see. Next question. Um, from uh, Zanktum, uh, can you rec recommend a cheap minis to uh, recommend cheap minis to start with, so I can paint one or two a day without taking a second job? Well, uh, if you are looking for cheap miniatures, um, there are some options. First of all, uh, eBay is your best friend. Uh, on eBay, you find uh, secondhand miniatures sometimes 50% off if you're lucky and sometimes uh, the quality is uh, um, rather terrible sometimes they're broken sometimes they're uh, horribly painted but uh, with the right tools and uh, dedication you can uh, uh, strip them of paint with uh, some isopropyl alcohol and uh, a toothbrush, just uh, put them in there for maybe a week and then you uh, scrub them off with a toothbrush and you're good to go. And then you can 
paint your miniatures rather cheap. Other uh, methods for uh, cheap miniatures are um, board game miniatures, like for example uh, Dark Souls the board game, or uh, um, uh, Dwarf King's Quest, or uh, Old Hero Quest, uh, well that, that's rather expensive, uh, Old Hero Quest uh, miniatures, but uh, well, you get the gist of it. Board game miniatures like Mantix, uh, um, uh, what is called um, uh, the the Hero Quest stand-in, uh, not Dwarf King's uh, quest. It's uh, I can't never can't remember the name. Uh, or for example, um, uh, Reaper Bones is uh, also a um, a good alternative for uh, cheaper miniatures. Just have a look out. Also, uh, some uh, historic miniatures uh, you can get for uh, quite inexpensive. Yeah, those are my recommendations. Um, from Evil Eyeball, uh, what was your first ever mini you painted? Well, the first ever mini I actually painted with uh, real guidance uh, that was an uh, Orc Boy from the second edition Warhammer 40k uh, starter box. And uh, I used a, a, um, a pamphlet from uh, Games Workshop. It was a, a two or three pages, uh, um, well, pamphlet. <laughs> <clears throat> that uh, they gave out for free with uh, the basic rules on them. Well, not really the rules, but uh, explanation how to uh, well uh, have your first ever game. It was for uh, the test games, how to move a space marine, how to shoot with a space marine, how to fight an orc and such. And uh, there were painting tutorials in there for um, an orc and a space marine. And, uh, well, I used this uh, painting tutorial to paint this orc. And yes, I still have this orc, but uh, it's somewhere in uh, a random box here uh, somewhere. I don't know exactly where right now. So, uh, <clears throat> But uh, I have shown him uh, in a video. I don't know exactly in what video. Somewhere in my backlog. Sorry. Um, from Will, what is your favorite RPG game? Um, if you mean with RPG game uh, a computer game, then it would be uh, uh, Skyrim or um, The Witcher 3. Those two uh, <clears throat> are taking the uh, first place at uh, the same spot and uh, in the second uh, or third spot, however you want to view it, uh, would be then uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. If you are speaking uh, tabletop miniature games, um, <coughs> tabletop uh, RPGs, um, then I would definitely say uh, Warhammer and Warhammer 40k. And uh, in the realm of uh, pen and paper RPGs, um, there are actually three contenders. Um, obviously Dungeons and Dragons, then uh, Pathfinder, first edition, and Earth Dawn. Earth Dawn was uh, the first uh, pen and paper role playing game that I have ever played, and so it has always been a been near and dear to my heart. Yeah. So uh, da -da 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 -da, from Will again, uh, what is the best thing on your painting workstation? The thing you simply love to have somewhere around, like favorite brush, someone, uh, some one special paint, or maybe something else. Well, here this thing, my wet pad. This is a a wonderful tool to have. It uh, keeps your colors way longer fresh than uh, on a dry palette. It's uh, handy to use. It's uh, the perfect fit for my workstation and uh, it's actually produced from GW. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. 
strange thing is that uh, they fill the uh, wet pellet uh, when they sell it with static grass. That's always buffered me. But I uh, also have other really neat things here on my workstation. <coughs> I can give you a tiny little tour. Uh, <coughs> let's clean the brush. So, let's uh, give you a little tour on my workstation here. So, what do we have here? Here's my water pot. Uh, here are my uh, all my contrast paints and washers in the front. So, I have uh, easy access to them. Um, uh, then I have here my two uh, bowls of brushes. Yeah. And in the back row we have uh, the paint rack here. With uh, lots and lots of paints. Then I have here my uh, workstation. Yeah, those are my tools. My toolbox. <laughs> so, um... Da -da 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 -dum. Next question from Will again. Um, if you can respawn in Age of Sigma universe as a Stormcast Eternal, which one would you should become and why? Well, a Stormcast Eternal, reforged as a Stormcast Eternal. Interesting question. Um, let's see. I'm somewhat uh, uh, artistic in nature. I think I wouldn't make a good leader. I'm a I'm a follower more, more a follower. So um, I would say I think I would be some sort of magic caster. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I would be uh, someone from the uh, uh, sacrosanct chamber. Um, but not on the front lines directly. I would be an operator uh, for the uh, Celestar Balliste. That would be my job. So, next question, uh, <clears throat> again from Will, so he uh, posted a lot of questions. Uh, do you prefer metal, plastic or resin models and why? Well, I personally prefer uh, plastic models over resin, over metal, way, 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 way up there. So, uh, resin models... I absolutely despise, I hate working with resin, be it uh, um, the fine cast from Games Workshop or resin models in general, it is terrible. I uh, hate cutting it, I hate uh, gluing it together, It um, they are always warped and uh, if you uh, have them standing in the sun they uh, they bend over and uh, they break easy and um, sometimes there's uh, a mold release agent on them so the paints uh, don't really stick on them. It is horrible. I hate them. Metal models uh, on the second place. Uh, well, uh, I'm used to uh, work with metal models. Um, they are uh, paint-wise exactly the same like plastic models. Uh, they can take um, paint ra rather nicely. Um, but the problem with them is uh, gluing them together is a pain in the butt. And uh, uh, the Super glue not always uh, sticks very well, so you have to pin them. And uh, um, when you uh, handle them, the uh, paint rubs off rather quickly. So uh, working with metal is not one of my favorite things to do. Really not. And then uh, plastic miniatures obviously take the uh, top spot. Um, 
just simply because uh, they are really easy to work with, uh, they are re really easy to uh, build together. Um, uh, even if they break, you can uh, quite easily uh, repair them. Um, they stick together with super glue, super easy, and uh, they are lightweight, easy to handle. I love them. I love them to bits. So, uh, next question. Um, from Wendigo800. Star Wars or Star Trek? Well, both. Duh. Why should I limit myself to just one? And uh, we have a cat that is uh, demanding food right now. And she doesn't get food right now. No. It's not time yet. So, uh, why should I limit myself to uh, uh, one fandom when I can have two? <laughs> I don't want metal on the cheek. So, we move it. Yeah. That's good. Okay. We've done it. Phew. <sighs> okay, um... Thoughts on commissions from Wendigo 800 and from uh, uh, Dumb Blonde Dalmatian again. Uh, do you think commission painters often undercharge for their work? So, um, I personally, I don't uh, do commission work. Um, I personally uh, could never paint something uh, that I don't have the passion to paint. And, uh, well, when you do commissions, you always have to paint something that you don't really crave right now. So, that's a big no-no for me. Um, do I think uh, they undercharge uh, themselves? I can't really answer that question because I don't uh, um, order things from any commission painters, so I have no idea what the charge rates are for certain commission painters, but I think uh, that some might undercharge their time. So, for a minimum uh, living wage, uh, I would say at least 10 euro per hour, you should value your work that way and uh, <clears throat> if you take uh, for a character model let's say 20 euros and you uh, work five hours on them then you're definitely undercharging definitely but on the other hand uh, you have commission studios that uh, can fire out uh, painting uh, loads in much higher rates and uh, so they can lower their prices obviously and the uh, lone painter out there um, has to undervalue his own time that often is uh, frustrating I, I bet I bet it is so, um, from Wendigo800, uh, uh, the uh, Spielemesse in Essen or other uh, convention events, uh, do you go to them? Um, well, I have went to the uh, Spielemesse in Essen once. That was, uh, let me guess, 2002 maybe? It's a long time ago really long time ago. Other events, uh, well, I went to the uh, uh, Games Day when it was uh, held here still in Germany, I believe three times. Yeah, and then uh, it went away. Since then, no, no other conventions. Um, 
from when you go 800 again, uh, do you paint with friends or in, in a paint club? Or are you a lone she-wolf? Uh, well, back in the day, um, uh, when I was uh, still studying in university, uh, I very often uh, went to a, a local GW store in Düsseldorf and, uh, well, there I painted with other people and back in the day that uh, we didn't have internet, so that was my only way for uh, new painting techniques to acquire, to uh, talk to other painters and, uh, well, oops, and uh, get knowledge about painting. So, uh, socializing with other painters, artists, uh, well, that was uh, the way to go back in the day. But uh, since the ages of the internet and uh, since I'm uh, teaching myself here on YouTube, um, no, I haven't uh, painted with others. Or in a club. Sometimes I... Um, I had uh, painting sessions uh, in a games workshop as a teacher, but uh, not when I was uh, painting myself, just for fun. Um, okay, um, from when you go 800 again, is the narrative background from Warmer 40k or Age of Sigma important to you? Uh, yes, it is, actually. Um, so my armies uh, always have uh, some sort of uh, backgrounds that I um, consider for them and uh, I treat my army uh, so like uh, how, how would I describe this um, I build my army lists uh, with the fluff in mind, so um, I would never uh, make a, a space marine army with just uh, five scouts and uh, then 50 tanks or something like that. That That isn't a space marine army. Space marine armies have a core of tactical marines slash primaris intercessors now and uh, This is the bulk of the army, and you should have at least a few of them. <laughs> so, um, have you ever done a sponsored video but disliked the product later? This was from Slade. Um, no, actually not. Um, I have done some sponsored videos in the past, of course. I've uh, shown you some products, but uh, the thing is... I always show products that I stand behind. If you, uh, if I don't uh, like the product, then you won't even see the video. So, nope, a definite nope from me on that end. So, let's highlight the gold, and uh, we come to the last question here. From Hawk's workshop, is there any painting technique or product that you used to use all the time, though it was the best way thing, but then later found a different way and changed? If so, what was it, and what did you change? Interesting question. Um, well, uh, in the uh, first days of painting... Uh, I obviously started with a lot of um, um, dry brushing and experimenting with washes and uh, my uh, first undead army that I still have <coughs> um, there I have uh, worked with a lot of uh, green and brown washes to uh, simulate uh, dirty um, dirty rags and clothes on uh, the on the miniatures, um, but nowadays uh, I would never do that again. It looks ugly, but uh, what can you do when you first start painting? You don't have the right information. 
to do it better. So, and we are uh, almost done here with the marine. Only things uh, left to do are some final highlights here on the gold. And there. Dum -dum -dum. Suck and suck. Suck and suck. There we go. And now we paint the eyes. So we need the dark red and the bright red. Darker with some black. And back there. Yeah. And also there in the back. So then the mid tone red. Front. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And now two white dots. And again, there. Ta-da! The eye is done, and the marine is done. Oh no, the parchment. Oh, the parchment. I have forgotten the parchment. The parchment, the parchment. Just like that. And ta-da. Okay. Marina's done. Yeah. I hope you like this uh, little uh, Q&A session. And uh, like following the paint job till the end. And, uh, well, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra. See you.